Hello, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Kwame Awuku. I am a Cognos Consultant at Cagletics. Please visit my website at cagletics.com to learn more about our services. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create very visually appealing dashboards that, um, cap that can catch, capture your audience by using the new Cognos 11 al Analytics engine. So to do this, first, I'm going to create a new tab and I'm going to reuse my Cognitics logo. So I click on the logo and I pin it so that when I create the new tab and I'm going to be using the freeform template. When I create the new tab, I'm going to rename it product line demo. Okay, so with this new tab created, I can go over to my images, the image that I pinned from product line, and I can just simply drag it over to this tab so that I don't, I don't have to go through the process again. So first, I'm going to go over to my visualizations, and I'm going to add the quantity shift, the revenue, and the margin. To do this is very straightforward. I go over to my visualizations, and I drag a summary visualization, I go over to my sources and I drag in my quantity shipped. Okay, I'm going to abbreviate this so it looks nice and clean. And then I'm going to make copies of this summary widget. Okay. So I'm going to make this the revenue and then the margin. So I click on the expand and I drag revenue here. Click on that and I abbreviate again. I go over to quantity and this was the margin. Abbreviate. And we are done with the top three items. So next, we are going to go back to visualizations and drag a pie chart. And in my pie chart, back to the sources, I have gross profit and product line. So I go over to my product, category product line, and gross profit. Okay. And I'm going to go over to the properties and use the callouts. Okay. So I'm going to change the background to gray so that you can see the callouts easier. I can also change the, the theme if I wanted to, but I'll just change the background for now. So I'm dragging this over here and I'm going to create uh, close the properties pane. Okay, make this a bit bigger. Get to the side, okay. And um, in fact, I'm going to go back and abbreviate the gross profit as well. Very good. Okay, so the next visualization I'm going to pull onto my chat is the stacked bar chart. So I go back to the visualizations, I drag the stacked bar chart, I go over to my sources, and we are going to pull revenue. Revenue is the value. I'm going to sort on that, descending, and for color, I am using retailer type to show the different retailers within each project product line. So back to product, I pull product line in for the X axis. Okay, so it looks good. And I minimize as well. Okay, so back to product line, let's let's see. So I added the prompt, which is just a title. I have a year data player and I have two lists 
plus a grid. So let's create that very quickly. I go back to my product demo, I go over to the test, and I drag a title. Okay, so I'm going to call this prompts. And under the prompts, I'm going to bring in the data player. So back to my visualization, I pull my data player here and I add the year, which I'll find in the sales query time. And year looks good. Align it a bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to pull two list visualizations and I'm going to use that um, to display the prompts. In fact, it is easier to just go to the sources and drag in the items I wanted to use. So I am using the, the region and the country. So I just drag the region over here and automatically a list prompt is created. And retailer country, I drag this one as well, right next to it, and another container is created. So very quickly, I'm going to rename, I'm going to name this country. And you do this by highlighting the container and clicking the edit button. Actually, this is the country and this is the region. And let's do the same for the year as well. Okay, so for my last, um, visualization, I'm going to go back and bring in a grid and I'm going to show the top five product lines. So I go over to the sources again and I bring in the product line as a column. I believe it was product type actually. So product line and I wanted to show the top five in terms of revenue. So I pull in my revenue as well. I highlight the revenue item. I click on, on this and I go to the top five. And I also want to sort it descending. So I close that. So let's close the sources and see how everything aligns. Um, so I have this here and let's drag this over to this side so everything aligns nicely. So I'm going to get out of the edit mode and I'm going to make some selections and you'll see that all the dashboard widgets update accordingly when I select any of the items from my list. You can also see the data player in action as it plays through the different years. So thank you very much for watching this demo and uh, see you for the next one soon. Bye-bye.